signed up from a sleep state. I'm going to sign in. Again, pretty cool way of unlocking your device. You sign in to unlock your device. I can swipe the, uh, I can pan around the grid like I did on my tablet. So it, it works in, in, in an exactly similar fashion to a tablet. Again, I can collapse the uh, clusters if I like. I can expand on it if I wanted to as well. And you have an endless space, and you can organize the clusters the way you want. If I want to change the background, I just click on that, and let's say I change to a different background. And, well, let's do that. Let's move to another one. Um, let's just say we choose this one. I apply, and I have a very different looking background right now. And if you notice, the clusters have their own colors as well that denotes a cluster representation. And now I'm going to go and play the video that I left off on my tablet. Seamless state, the ability to continue the video from where I left off. So I'm going to click on videos here. That already brings me to the detailed view of Tron. And I can hit play. And again, I get the question. You have a session start for this video. Do you want to resume? Yes, I want to do that. I'm going to say OK. And that's going to play the video. I'm going to move the device for landscape. If you remember, this is exactly where we left the video the last time wrong. I'm going to show you the browser functionality on the phone. I'm going to tap on the browser. I'm going to look for the browser, pen on it, and then I'm going to tap on the browser. And it will bring up all the different pages that I had. Again, you find the controls as an overlay because it's Chromeless browsing. So if I wanted to switch between my tabs, you don't find the tabs around it like you do on the tablet. But we take the full screen when we want to switch between tabs. I just move the wheel, and it moves between the different tabs that I have. So. I'm moving between my second tab and my third tab, and I'm moving back between my third and my second tab right now. It's pretty cool, huh? And if I tap outside of the screen, the Chrome goes, and I can use the device like I normally do. So it's pretty cool functionality of the browser, again, on a Chromeless basis on the phone. I'm going to show you the browser functionality on the phone. Let me find the browser. There we go. I'm going to tap on it, and that's going to bring up my browser. And if you notice, the Chrome is, as, is an overlay again. Again, this is Chromeless browsing. You get full screen browsing with this grid 4 as well. And, but the way we deal with the tabs is slightly different from the tablet. With the tablet, you see the tabs all around the wheel. Here you don't. To move between tabs, you just move the wheel. I'm moving between my third and my second, my third and my fourth tab, and I'm moving back to my third tab right now. And I'm moving back to my second tab at the same time. So as you can see, it's very simple browsing using Chromeless, uh, Chromeless browsing. And I get full screen view. If I just tap outside of the screen, it goes. As I scroll, the Chrome disappears. If I want it, I just tap, and the Chrome appears again. Pretty cool. So the Grid 4 is also powered by the Grid OS, and you get a great experience using the Grid OS on the phone. As you can see, the Grid 4 is quite a device. So how are we pricing this? Smartphones tend to be very expensive traditionally. If you buy a phone on a subsidized basis, you still end up paying a lot of money because you've got to get it on, you've got to get it on a contract, on a one-year contract, on a two-year contract. When you do that, the total cost of ownership goes up and becomes very expensive because the contract over the period of time is, is expensive. So how are we pricing this? If you look at unlocked phones, if you look at the devices behind me, if you look at the iPhone 4, the 16 gig version goes for 649. The HTC Sensation, which is an Android device, goes for 499. So all of the devices, whether it's unlocked or whether you get it on a subsidized basis because of total cost of ownership, is expensive. We're going to price this differently. You are going to be able to buy the Grid 4 for 399 unlocked. It's a 16 gig version, and the device will ship in Q4. You can register your interest on FusionGarage.com today. We will announce operator availability closer to the ship date. And this is going to be very, very exciting for us. So I'm excited. I'm excited with the introduction of the Grid OS, with the Grid 10, and the Grid 4, and the variety of services that we announced along with it. The Grid desktop, the, the Grid shop, the ability to have Grid frames.